Hey there, science fans. Today, we're diving into the incredible world of nanotechnology. Imagine a world where we can manipulate matter at the tiniest level, atom by atom. That's what nanotechnology is all about. It's like having a set of super tiny building blocks, a billionth of a meter small. Nanotechnology is already changing the way we live, from the medicine we take to the gadgets we use. It's helping us create stronger materials, develop new energy sources, and even fight diseases in brand new ways. This field is bursting with potential, promising a future filled with amazing advancements. But hold on, before we get too carried away, it's important to remember that with great power comes great responsibility. As we explore the boundless possibilities of nanotechnology, we must also address the potential risks and ensure its safe and ethical development. So buckle up because we're about to embark on an exciting journey into the fascinating world of nanotechnology. The idea of manipulating matter at the atomic level might seem like something straight out of science fiction, but it all started with a visionary physicist named Richard Feynman. Back in 1959, he gave a groundbreaking lecture called There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom, where he imagined a future where we could build things atom by atom. Fast forward to the 1980s and the term nanotechnology was coined. We also saw the invention of powerful microscopes that could actually see individual atoms. This was a game changer. Scientists like Gerd Binnig and Heinrich Rührer, who invented the scanning tunneling microscope, opened up a whole new world for exploration at the nanoscale. Since then, the field has exploded with new discoveries and inventions. Scientists have created amazing materials like carbon nanotubes, which are incredibly strong and lightweight. We've also seen the development of nanomedicine using tiny particles to deliver drugs directly to diseased cells. The journey of nanotechnology is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. From Feynman's visionary ideas to the groundbreaking inventions of today, we've come a long way in our quest to master the nanoscale, and trust me, this is just the beginning. So what makes nanomaterials so special? It all comes down to their incredibly small size. We're talking about particles that are hundreds of times smaller than a human hair. At this scale, materials start to behave differently, exhibiting unique properties that we can harness for all sorts of cool applications. Take gold, for example. We all know it as a shiny, precious metal, but at the nanoscale, gold nanoparticles can appear red or even blue. This is because their small size affects how they interact with light. Pretty neat, huh? But it's not just about color changing tricks. Nanomaterials can also become stronger, more reactive or better conductors of electricity. For instance, carbon nanotubes, which are like tiny rolled up sheets of carbon atoms, are incredibly strong for their size. They're also excellent conductors of heat and electricity. These unique properties open up a world of possibilities. We can use nanomaterials to create more efficient solar cells, develop faster computer chips, and even design new New materials that are both lightweight and incredibly durable. Get ready to be amazed because nanotechnology is revolutionizing the way we diagnose, treat and prevent diseases. Nanomedicine is all about using tiny particles to target specific cells in the body, delivering drugs with incredible precision. Imagine this. Instead of flooding your entire body with medication, we can now design nanoparticles that act like tiny guided missiles, delivering drugs directly to the source of the problem. This means fewer side effects and more effective treatments. Nanoparticles are also being used to develop new diagnostic tools that can detect diseases at their earlier stages when treatment is most effective. These tiny sensors can detect even the smallest changes in our bodies, helping doctors catch diseases like cancer earlier than ever before. And it doesn't stop there. Researchers are using nanotechnology to develop artificial tissues and organs, create new vaccines, and even regenerate damaged tissues. The possibilities in nanomedicine are truly mind-blowing. Section 5. Nanoelectronics powering up the future one atom at a time. Hold on to your hats, tech enthusiasts, because nanotechnology is about to take electronics to a whole new level. We're talking about smaller, faster, and more powerful devices than ever before. One of the key areas where nanotechnology is making a big impact is in computer chips. By using nanomaterials, we can pack more transistors onto a single chip, making computers faster and more powerful while using less energy. But it's not just about faster computers. 
Nanotechnology is also enabling the development of flexible electronics, printable solar cells, and even wearable sensors that can track our health in real time. Imagine a world where your phone is as thin as a piece of paper, your clothes are powered by the sun and your watch can tell you if you're getting sick. Nanotechnology is making all of this and more a reality. Section 6. Nano Energy Fueling a Cleaner, Brighter Tomorrow As the global demand for energy continues to rise, nanotechnology is emerging as a key player in the search for cleaner, more sustainable energy solutions. From improving solar cells to developing new ways to store energy, nanomaterials are poised to revolutionize the way we power our world. One exciting area of research is in the development of more efficient solar cells. Nanomaterials can capture sunlight more effectively, converting more of it into electricity. This means we can generate more clean energy from the same amount of sunlight. Nanotechnology is also playing a crucial role in the development of better batteries. We're talking about batteries that can store more energy, charge faster and last longer. This is essential for everything from electric cars to portable electronics. By harnessing the power of nanomaterials, we can create a future where our energy needs are met in a way that's good for both people and the planet. Section 7. Environmental Champion Nanotechnology for a Greener Planet Pollution, water scarcity, climate change. These are big challenges, but nanotechnology might just hold the key to solving them. From cleaning up pollutants to purifying water, nanomaterials are being used to develop innovative solutions for a greener, healthier planet. One promising application is in water purification. Nanomaterials can filter out harmful contaminants from water, making it safe to drink. This is especially important in developing countries where access to clean water is limited. Nanotechnology is also being used to develop sensors that can detect even the smallest traces of pollutants in the air and water. This helps us monitor environmental health and take action to prevent pollution before it becomes a problem. By harnessing the power of nanotechnology, we can create a cleaner, safer and more sustainable future for generations to come. Section 8 Nanotechnology in our homes. From gadgets to groceries, believe it or not, Nanotechnology is already part of our everyday lives, even if we don't realize it. From the smartphones in our pockets to the food we eat, nanomaterials are everywhere. Take a look at your smartphone. The display, the battery, the processor, they all rely on nanotechnology. Nanomaterials help make these devices smaller, faster and more energy efficient. But it's not just electronics. Nanomaterials are also used in food packaging to keep our food fresher for longer. They're added to sunscreens to provide better UV protection. And they're even used in some fabrics to make them stain resistant. The next time you're at the store, take a closer look at the products you buy. You might be surprised to learn just how many of them already incorporate nanotechnology. Section 9. The nano future is now advancements we can expect. Hold on tight because the future of nanotechnology is full of incredible possibilities. Here are just a few of the amazing advancements we can expect to see in the years to come. In medicine, we can look forward to even more targeted drug delivery systems, personalized medicine tailored to our unique genetic makeup, and even the possibility of nanorobots that can repair damaged tissues from the inside out. In electronics, get ready for even smaller, faster and more powerful devices. We're talking about flexible phones, quantum computers and even devices that can interface directly with our brains. And let's not forget about energy. Nanotechnology will continue to play a key role in developing cleaner and more efficient energy sources, paving the way for a more sustainable future. The future is nano and it's going to be amazing. Section 10, the double-edged sword navigating the risks of nanotechnology. While the potential benefits of nanotechnology are undeniable, it's important to remember that every new technology comes with its own set of risks and challenges. One concern is the potential toxicity of certain nanomaterials. Because they're so small, nanoparticles can interact with our bodies in unpredictable ways. We need to make sure that any nanomaterials used in consumer products are thoroughly tested for safety. Another concern is the potential environmental impact. We need to make sure that nanomaterials are manufactured and disposed of responsibly so they don't end up polluting our environment. 
And then there are the ethical considerations. As with any powerful technology, we need to make sure that nanotechnology is used for good and not for harm. By carefully considering the potential risks and working to mitigate them, we can ensure that nanotechnology is developed and used responsibly for the benefit of all. Section 11, The Road Ahead, Shaping a Responsible Nano Future. As we stand on the cusp of a nanotechnology revolution, it's up to all of us to ensure that this powerful new tool is used wisely and ethically. We need to have open and honest conversations about the potential benefits and risks of nanotechnology, and we need to work together to develop clear guidelines for its safe and responsible development. Governments, scientists and industry leaders all have a role to play in shaping a positive nano future. We need to invest in research to better understand the long-term effects of nanomaterials. And we need to develop regulations that protect both human health and the environment. But most importantly, we need to educate ourselves about nanotechnology so that we can make informed decisions about its use. The more we know about this amazing technology, the better equipped we'll be to harness its power for good. The future is in our hands and together we can shape a nano future that benefits all of humanity.